Good morning, I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford in your local weather expert forecast center at WWL TV, getting you a quick 10 a.m. update on what's going on in the tropics. Thankfully, there's nothing coming toward the Gulf Coast, our part of the New Orleans area, or even the U.S., and there are no named storms or anything organized out there. Just giving you a quick update on what is out there in the Atlantic Basin. Notice that there is just a small disturbance. This is just an area of disorganized showers and storms in the Caribbean Sea, the southwestern part of the sea. It has a low chance of development, only 20% chance in two days. And even into the weekend in the next five days, a 40% chance of development. So this hasn't changed since maybe the past uh, 12 or more hours or really since late Monday. Uh, we started talking about this little disturbance a couple days ago. The National Hurricane Center started highlighting it. And what we're expecting is this just kind of general area of cloudiness, moisture, some showers and storms to drift north and northwest and kind of hug the coast of Central America around Nicaragua and Honduras. And it does look like it might have a chance to develop if the center of it, or, you know, this is a very big, broad, messy kind of low pressure center right now. Uh, but if the center of whatever does try to tighten up or develop stays over the warm water, it would have a chance to develop into a depression or a tropical storm. We're going to be seeing the chance for it uh, coming toward land uh, really anywhere near us very slim because we have the big high pressure area over the U.S. right now. So this is not really going to be something that we're thinking of as a potential threat to the U.S. or to the Gulf Coast or even to much of you know the, the mid portions of the, the coast around Mexico. But it does look like this low pressure uh, system or you know right now just a disorganized area of showers and storms will probably be hugging the coast and getting toward Mexico, maybe Yucatan and perhaps eventually into the Bay of Campeche, but it's going to be taking a while. Um, and also it looks like by this weekend that would be the the time that it might be in that orange shaded area, possibly becoming a depression by then. So that's what we have going on in the tropics right now. It looks like that high is just going to keep the movement of that system, whatever it becomes, if it does become anything, off to the south of the Gulf Coast of the U.S. But it does look like it will be a rainmaker for those parts of Central America and likely into Mexico in the next maybe five to six or more days. As for the models, the long range models, um, you know, they tend to get less and less accurate the farther out, but I have been watching them and they are all keeping it far to the south because of that big dome of high pressure. So in South Louisiana and along the Gulf Coast, when we get these big highs, the big H's, it tends to heat us up. It can make it kind of stagnant, hot, humid, hazy, but also it does tend to keep the tropical threats quite low because it's just really hard to get systems to move into that high almost like a wall. So if this system does develop and again right now it only has a medium chance of developing it would get the name Bonnie if it does become a tropical storm. As for the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season so far we've made it through Alex tropical storm Alex next name on the list is Bonnie and then we'd make it on down the list toward Colin, Danielle, Earl, Fiona and Gaston. We might be talking about those in the next couple of months. If we did make it to the projected maybe say 19 or so named storms that would take us to Tobias. Uh, and thankfully we don't have to talk about too much else that's looking like it might develop in the Atlantic Basin at this point. So that'll do it for our tropical update on this Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Again, we'll just kind of keep our eye on that and let you know, but it looks like it'll be probably pretty slow to develop. And again, we'll see whether the low pressure stays more over the warm waters with a chance to develop or maybe hugs the coast more of Central America, which would make it have a lower chance of actually developing into a tropical system. That'll do it for now. We'll have more updates coming up through the rest of the day.